Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Glad you found us. Before we even get started, if you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there on your bottom right. Put a like to our video. You're definitely gonna like what we're doing on this channel. So today we are gonna get back on working on the Sentra. This is our little project car we've been screwing around with for a while. We currently have an engine out being built for the Sentra, but we got some things that need to get handled for this girl. So let me show you our biggest problem with the center at the moment, since we don't have an engine. Problem numero uno is this carpet. When I got this car, yeah, there was a big hole in the floor. So we are gonna fix that today with some brand new carpet there's our new carpet for the Sentra we're gonna let it sit in the sun so it can kind of warm up and be pliable when we're ready to use it and if you notice there's no holes or anything cut in it so we're gonna have to cut all of our holes once we get our old carpet out of the car which is no big deal and then we'll transfer over any, uh, I know there's a couple pieces on like styrofoam on the carpet on here because I've had it out before. So we'll have to transfer that stuff over too. So, all right, let's get into this. All right, so if you've never taken carpet out of your car before or just kind of getting into this or starting to do cleaning or whatever, first thing you want to do, what I always do is I just take the seats out. That helps me get um, a good bearing on where everything is. So if you take your seat and push it all the way back, you'll see your two bolts right here in the front. There's one on each side. And then same thing, move it forward, you'll see the two on the back. Typically the ones on the back, pardon my car, it's messy, have a little cover on them, covering the bolts like this. So make sure you take those covers off and then just take out your bolts. You'll have a wire harness typically for your seat belts. And then if you have a newer car um, that has airbags and all that in it, which obviously mine doesn't, but you'll have to unhook all the wire harnesses on the bottom of the seat, then everything will pop out. So we're going to go ahead and unbolt both seats, the front seats, and then the back seats. Again, depending on, depending on your vehicle. Sorry, again, mine's dirty. Mine's really easy. Um, there's just two latches. Most back seats just pop right out. So that's literally all it takes to pop your back seat out right there. Sometimes there's a screw, a couple bolts, but the bottom cushion usually pops right out. And then the back piece up here, we don't need to take out because as you can see, our carpet just comes to here. So we're going to go take the front seats out and then we'll start worrying about all the big stuff. All right, here we go. Okay, one seat out, random bolt. I'm sure I'll need that at some point. Bunch of fries. We're gonna set those in the cup holders. Okay, to the other side. Okay, well, that was easy enough. Found uh, 37 cents, so we're on our way. So here's the crazy thing about this car is this side of the carpet and this side of the car is like perfect shape. The carpet all still looks brand new, clean. There's no tears, rips, or holes in it. 
because the previous owner was a commuter like me. And uh, so only the driver's side stuff was wore out. The driver's side floor mat, the driver's side carpet, um, the handle, the steering wheel had holes ripped in it. But everything on the passenger side is all like 2006 new steel. So, all right. So once we have that out, our next thing is going to be to get the console out of our way because that's the next biggest thing and it has all the holes underneath it. So we're going to start taking out our trim bolts. There's uh, bolts here. There's bolts up in the cover here. Sorry, cover um, console. So we got a couple bolts in here. We'll unscrew our shifter knob here. And I think that's it. There's only, there's only a few bolts in there. So that comes off pretty easy. And then we'll start doing our side trim. And most of this stuff all just snaps out. So I'll grab the screwdriver, take out our screws. We'll get the center console out of the way. And then we'll pull up all the side trim. All right, here we go. Climb past you and not get in your way so much. This center piece just pops up. So we'll pull that out. That's got our shift boot there. This comes unbuttoned to go around first. So there's that. And then the back of this console has a couple screws behind it here. Those screws are right down here on the bottom. And then one more right here. Okay, let's see if that gets us. There we go. Okay. There's our center console. So now we just gotta do the side trims, then yank this carpet out. Okay, you should be able to see okay. So all of these trims just pop out by hand. Just be careful popping them up. Because they do lock into each other. So if you just go yanking all crazy, you could risk breaking them. Um, Nissan's clips are pretty nice. They just pop right in. This side here just pulls out. It's not really hanging on to anything, so that just pops out. So you can see we just have this little guy right here. It just pops up. This is just going to pop up, and we need to unbolt our seatbelt latch down there at the bottom. So we'll do that real quick. And then up front, there's the kick panel, and you can see right there, there's a little twist screw that you can use your hand to unscrew. Take that panel out, pull this bolt out, and this side will be done, and we'll be on to the other side. And that is it on this side. So this side of the carpet is all ready to come out. Now we gotta do the driver's side. And voila, she is out. Again, as you can tell, I've had it out before because the undercarriage here is really, really clean. I've uh, already cleaned it one time before and got it all vacuumed out, so it looks super great. So all we need to do now is uh, take our carpet, old carpet outside, get it on top of our new carpet, and then we'll kind of mark out where our holes need to be. All right, so here is our new carpet old carpet and the biggest difference you're going to notice between your OEM carpet and your aftermarket carpet is the amount of padding so this is the passenger side we have one sheet of padding 
and then a whole nether sheet of padding that fits in that entire footwell. So if you look over on the other side, all we have is just the one skinny little piece of padding. We don't have this extra sound deadening padding. So we're gonna want to try to take this extra padding off and transfer it over probably into the car versus putting it onto the new carpet. But you wanna make sure you transfer over all that extra padding so that you can keep your sound deadening or install some sound deadening. I thought about doing some Dynamat, um, but I'm just gonna do this stuff, transfer it over and see how it goes. Okay, so we got all that removed. So now we're just kind of left with the dead carcass of our old carpet. So the smartest thing to do now would be to take this carpet and set it on top of our new carpet and start tracing all of these holes. All right guys, so I got my uh, silver marker here and I've been working on just getting everything lined up real good in the back here. When you buy an aftermarket carpet, it's always gonna be oversized, which is totally fine. So I'm just gonna be making myself a little mark of where I need to make my holes here. And I'm definitely going, making smaller holes than like, you know, what this factory opening shows. So that is the main part and then we will start dealing with these bigger holes once we get in the car I'm gonna cut those out I don't want to trace those I want to cut those exact so everything else um, everything else on back here I don't want to go ahead and mark yet because I don't want my marks to get way off so I'm gonna start at the back get these cut and put in and then start going through the car and cutting the rest of the holes with the carpet in the car that way my holes are really exact. Um, if I was to trace them out on this, there's like a 0% chance they'd actually line up and then my carpet wouldn't fit right. So I'm just starting at the back, getting these cut, getting the back set in, and then I'll start rolling it out towards the front of the car and cutting the holes as I move forward. All right, so before we really dive into putting in the carpet, I went ahead and removed everything on the center console. That way the, the carpet will just lay down on there. I can start poking my holes and just cutting my holes out. It'll be much easier than trying to trace everything. So parking brake is just two bolts. And then these just angle out. ABS sensor, just four bolts, unhook it. Shifters, two bolts here, two bolts from the bottom. You do have to take off the exhaust shields, which is six bolts, no big deal. And then shifter cables just disconnect. So now all I've got to do is cut a slice for the shifter cables to come through the carpet, run the carpet. Actually, I think I have to run them above it. So I can run the carpet right down on there, poke holes, cut a little slit for the carpet to slide over, cut a hole, cut a hole, right? And I can just go right over all of this. So before I get real into it, I'm going to go ahead and get the vacuum, vacuum everything, clean everything really well. And then we'll start getting this carpet placed in here. All right, let's see if this goes in better.
All right, so here is our rough fit. So now we've got to go through and put back all the vents and everything that's under the carpet, all the additional padding that goes under the carpet. That'll help make it look a lot better. So that's what we're gonna start on now. We'll start getting uh, all the vents and bracings and all those put back in and start getting the center console piece all put back together. And then we'll start getting the rest of these seats holes put in and then we'll get it vacuumed. And I think we'll be done. All right, we got the passenger side all cut and installed. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put the center console pieces all back in, the e-brake, the shifter, the ABS, or not ABS, the uh, airbag sensor. So we're gonna get all that installed in the middle there, and then we'll go do the driver's side.
All right, guys, we got the uh, interior wrapped up. Let's take a look. So we got the carpet all in. Looks good. Sorry, it's hard to see. I still need to wash the seats, but I'll do that once we get the car moving. Here's the back. So I think it came together pretty well. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this video on how to put new carpet into your car. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments for us. Don't forget to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.